Hello and welcome to True Crime Diary, a light-hearted podcast on a serious subject. Every two weeks we look back through true crime stories to discuss an event that took place on this week in history. I'm your host Mark Decano and with me as always are my friends Jed Lester. Hello. And Rue Turner. Hello. So the date we're looking at this time is the 12th of February and in 1994... On the same day as the 1994 Winter Olympics opened in Lillehammer, two men crept into the National Gallery in Oslo, stealing its version of Edvard Munch's The Scream. They left a note saying, thanks for the poor security, and hot-footed it out of the building. (laughs) That was pretty normal for a... You say crept, I think it was more of a (laughs) crept up a ladder. Well, they crept, that's a little creep up a ladder. (laughs) Smashed a window. (laughs) Is um, Edvard Munch, is he Norwegian? Mm-hmm. Yes, national hero. Is he? Mm. Yeah. And name anything that Edvard Munch has ever done apart from um, the Scream. For instance, yes. name. Uh, hold on. Name <laughs> another Mike Oldfield album. <laughs> or uh, mm. name. <laughs> name the follow up uh, single by Joe Dolce. Okay. My point is, no, I is, won't. Is it? Um, is he kind of one hit, one hit wonder? No, no, no. I, I shall was, defer to the artist. Of it, the group. He was well into his career by the time this happened. I, I would but say most quite people, later in his career. Most people only know know that, though, don't they? Yeah, I would say ninety nine point nine percent only only know that. Well, yeah. he does have his own. Not his own, but there's a museum dedicated to his works mm-hmm, mm-hmm. as well. Sure he does, yeah, yeah. Gallery, in so. Oslo. In Oslo. Yeah, that was set up um, after his death when he bequeathed his entire collection to the nation. To, to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so you have works like The Vampire, is that one? Yeah, not really the title, though, because okay. it's not what it's about. That's what we um, would call it. Yeah. <laughs> in English, it's called The Vampire. And, um, the, and there's a Madonna as well. Yeah, that was an, one that was also stolen. So, yes, in another theft. In another theft. Another theft. Now, the, the one you called, you refer to as the vampire, he would be probably a little bit perturbed by that. I mean, he had reasonable humour about those kind of things, but hmm. it's not about that at all, and he wouldn't really see how you got that. It's just, um, I mean, it's it's quite a tender woman cradling and kissing a man on the neck, but it's just, uh, you know, once it gets into a goth's head, you'll never yeah. get it out again. It looks like they're sucking his blood. Oh, right. That's because he's oh, okay. got red hair that's cascading down over his back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. So, did um, was his work in general uh, well known nationally? Um, pre, I mean, obviously it was pre nineteen ninety four. But did the the nicking of it um, send it skywards notoriety wise? Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, he was really well known, and that's why he was in. Mm. You know. He had an entire Norwegian museum. National Gallery, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't get in there by accident. But really well known in Norway. Yeah, very much yeah, yeah. so. Yeah. And he had done I mean shows around the world. All right, you know, fine. In Europe and he Germany. He was known and, internationally, yeah. yeah, as a big deal. How will the world speak my name in years to come? Yes. Okay. All right, fine. But this incident seemed it stratospheric, do you reckon? Well it gave it I don't think it did for the screen necessarily what the theft of the Mona Lisa did for it. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which, Although, which is oh. to raise it from nothing into the most famous painting. In the world. Yeah, sure. Yeah, to, yeah. In making that comparison, really, the scream is actually more widely copied than the Mona Lisa is in culture. It's cause, is it easier? Because it's easier. Because <laughs> it's got a big, big brush. It's yeah, a big it's, brush. I mean, it's arguably need... just more iconic. I thought you, know, you were going to say more blue. It's a more startling <laughs> image. <laughs> You only need blue. You, you need more blue. You need white and blue. Do you need just white and blue for what? Paint, paint the screen. No, no. Oh, is there more no. colours? In yeah. it? I thought it was mainly blue. It, the, the blood all, all red the sky oh, is that, rather difficult sorry. to do okay, in blue. They use, they use almost all the colours. Yeah, do they? Yeah, because okay. yeah, oh, right, later fine. in his career, he kind of boiled down to quite primary colours used quite richly, rather than his earlier career was quite realistic. He was actually a really skilled realist painter. I am good. Yeah. But he kind of got really okay. weird and expressionistic. Right, right. Well, let's um, let's look at... Well, first of all, the scream. 
In Norwegian, it's called skrik, I believe. Oh, yeah. Which means the shriek. That's pretty good. Thank the you. shriek. Right, yeah, okay. But in German, and this is what gives away the error that people usually make about it, is it's called der Schrei der Natur, meaning the scream of nature. Because people usually mistake it as the person in the painting is screaming. Yes. But they're not. They're covering their ears because of nature. They've got their the mouth open. This, yeah. O- open in horror rather than in yeah. scream. They're shocked. And in horror. Yes. In, Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the sound of nature and the environment screaming. And they're covering their ears. So is they're he? not... The figure isn't screaming. They are covering their ears against the screen. Yeah. So. As he describes it, I, I, maybe you've got the, the actual text there, but he d- described the moment at which he conceived it. Mm. Um, he was walking along with a couple of friends and they walked on ahead of him and he just stopped, leant on the fence and looked out across the waters and there was a blood red sky yep. and he felt uh, the scream of nature pass through him. Right, oh, okay. So it's nature that's... The thing about... Well, you, you say that. The, the <laughs> no, thing no, about no. it is... <laughs> no, he said Monk that. said that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing about it is, is the combination of... Uh, someone holding their side, whatever ears, side of their head, and full mouth full open. Mm-hmm. If you if you'd called it uh, shock horror or something, if just called it something slightly different. Oh gosh! Then people, yeah, yeah, good lord, <laughs> or something like that. Then people would go, oh, he's, oh, he's. Uh. But if it, if it is called the scream, everyone assumes that he's going ah, <laughs> <laughs> because that's what his mouth's doing, basically. If it'd been called something slightly different people would have a different reaction to it. I get the feeling that that painting is watching me. But anyway, is that... Are you saying that this translation is not as what it should it, be? No, no, no. It's called... It is the scream or the shriek, or, but it is... It, but it's not the pers- the person in the picture screaming. That's the point. Yes. People always see it. They see, as you exactly. know. They, just, they just... They see the person. They see it. And they think, It's oh, called the scream. That bloke's that's, screaming. That person's screaming. Yeah, yeah. But they're not. Or they okay. might be as well. Well, that's okay. not the uh, the origin of the, the of the reason why it was painted. So, there you okay. Go. So, painted. so why so why did they so they had a whole this was the Edvard Munch museum. No, this, this one oh, is sorry. in the National Gallery. Oh, okay. He did have a museum dedicated to his work, but this particular this wasn't one there. Right, is okay. a, one of two painted versions of, of the innumerable versions of the. Uh, yeah. What do you mean? There well, were loads of them. There were loads of them. Yeah. So why didn't they go, ah, it's all right. <laughs> it's we've, got got loads. Loads. we've got another one. Get the other one out. Get the other one. <laughs> that was a rub- particularly rubbish one. <laughs> we did two, two in paint and two in pastel are the most famous yeah. or most valued ones, I guess. Which one was that? This one was one of the two painted ones. There's one in the National Gallery and one in the Book Museum. Both if, you paint, if you paint loads of them, it devalues it. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's loads of them. Yeah. Well, there are loads they're, of them. They're, well, they're slightly different. Yeah, yeah, they are each different. And I think oh, it's, it's easy to Limited pick a favourite out of them, I think. Limited edition, yeah. yeah. Numbered prints. Yeah. We did do... There was um, a lithograph the, the which yell. he did about 50 copies of. Mm. And he hand-coloured some of them. So we those are out there somewhere. Yeah. yeah. The yell. And then there's, there's others. There's like... The shout. You know, he's got like parts where he just painted the, the face, not the whole yeah. scene. And uh, so okay. there are all works around it. If you go trawling through all his drawings, which of which there are tens of thousands, yep. <laughs> you'll find like parts of the screen in various other paintings and drawings as well. So that oh, okay. that motif of people walking along a platform next to the sea is commonly drawn by him. The same little bit of with curved pondy sea, yeah, and the two little boats, things like that. They're I mean, it's well repeated. Okay. Which is quite common, you know, for an artist to use an idea over and over. He knows how to draw boats far away. Yeah. This is art. Get it? So, but they targeted that painting as opposed to any old... Well, hang on. Did they steal anything else? No. Right. So they targeted that. They targeted that painting, yeah. Right, right. They dropped it as well, didn't they? And they dropped it, yeah. Really? They dropped it down the ladder and they picked it up and then ran off. They picked it up and ran off with it. Now, they, uh, the painting had been moved, so they knew where it was. They'd obviously done their homework. They were clumsy on the, mm. on the day. They knew where it was because it had been moved to a second floor gallery, hence the ladder, because of the Olympics celebrations that were happening. They moved the gallery around because right. of the Olympic festivities. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So a few days after the theft, there was um, an anti-abortion group said it would return the painting if a Norwegian television channel showed an anti-abortion film 
Right. But the claim turned out to be false. Oh, they didn't okay. have it at all. They were just jumping they on just the wanted to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wanted to show their, their film. Now, after a little time passed, police managed to find four pieces of frame in Nitterdal, which is a northern Oslo suburb. Yep. They found some of the frame. Of its frame. Of its frame. Yep. Um, and apparently a message of some kind... Like, like that was a teaser for the police with a message saying that they would be willing to discuss a, a return or, right. a, or a ransom, at which point then they received, they later then received a ransom. The thieves demanded a ransom of one million dollars American. Mm. One million dollars. Placing a little finger on the chin. <laughs> it's probably not enough, is a it? A million? Uh, well, perhaps it was then. Probably not. It's not in, absolutely not now, is it? A million dollars. Um, a million dollars. I was in '94. I mean, it's enough. It's not. It's not vast sums, considering one of them sold not too long ago for 125 million. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. It's kind of like they they should have asked for more. <laughs> a billion. <laughs> um, but anyway, my point is going to be something sold for a like, oh my god, that how much you know, and it sent mm. everything else being mm. very expensive. I'm saying millions, not not enough. Yeah, it is modest. Yeah, sorry, it was ninety four, so it was nearly two two to the pound then. So it's five five hundred thousand pounds for the bloody screen. Mm. And no, we, actually, yeah, that's that's worth it. <laughs> Can we have it back? And Norway's very wealthy, so a million dollars won't buy much in Norway. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, Krone is quite strong. Absolutely, yeah. Everything's very, very expensive, isn't it? Yeah, um, just as comparison. So we're talking about a painting, 2012. One of the pastel versions sold for 120, or just shy of $120 million. Right. So they asked for a ransom of one million American. Not enough. <laughs> Apparently not enough. It's, an, it's, it's a like a, a scruffy painting on a piece of paper. It's on, it's on a sheet of cardboard. You know. Yeah, but it's what it is, isn't you it? Know. It's not. Well, arguably, know, most. Paintings. Well, that's what yeah. I'm saying. It's like, just some paint. The Mona, the Mona Lisa <laughs> is a. Is a Might as well just buy a pot. At least you can some, use it. Paper with some paint on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not even archival. It's. It's not going to last. Is it not? No, absolutely not. What, I mean, the, fortunately, it's painted in not if you get tempura, which is Batter. really, really good. I mean, that will last for donkey's years. It's made right. out of egg yolk, uh, which is really stable. Yeah, but um, paper cardboard. isn't. Paper, paper that, they, yeah. that Ed... Well, paper Eddie, at all, really. Eddie, 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 Eddie Bunch. <laughs> <laughs> you, can get, you can get good stable paper, but it only will last longer. Ooh. But the kind of paper he used would just, I mean, it's... Yeah, it'll be in pieces in a few decades, I think. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, just, let's say, don't worry about it, lads. Yeah. Oh, it's worthless. Yeah. Forget it. Right, pack all this away. Yeah. <laughs> Forget about it. <laughs> but what about Van Gogh? Van Gogh. Van Gogh. For the, uh, Van Gogh. Van Gogh. For the uh, yeah. American listeners. Oh. He had Van, Van Gogh is, is what robbers shout <laughs> their escape <laughs> driver away, yeah. when they get in. When they get in the <laughs> lorry. Yeah, exactly. But didn't he use rubbish paints because he was very poor? Well, Meaning, just wait a few hundred years, and it's not. not <laughs> when well, those days, exist. it's not really yeah. such a thing as rubbish paints because you because <laughs> you made them. Nowadays, you can buy cheap paints or you can yes. buy good paints. Back then, you made your paint. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, you could go to a good or a bad colourman who would put Colourman. terrible additives, in. they were called colourman. <laughs> the still, in fact, they're still called colourman now. People who colourman. make paint. Um, men of <laughs> colour. <men of color. laughs> what do you need then? Blood, phlegm, yolk. What are you after? Um, so they would they put use? additives in to, you know, to make and binders and, and stuff. And now we but... use washing powder to get those stains out. Yeah, blood, sweat, and egg. Do <laughs> we? Uh, what else? Blood, sweat, <laughs> egg. egg, red wine. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> so it's punchy blood. Red wine. Why was blood? Why was blood in the list? <laughs> I don't know, people bleed. Yeah, shaving cut. Isn't oh, it? I know, but it's just like <laughs> that would never be allowed today. What do you mean, blood? A t-shirt covered in blood? <laughs> <laughs> not like 
It's <laughs> covered in blood. It might have a drip from a shaving cut or something. Uh, all right. <laughs> not, not, like, not, my, not like where your mind went. <laughs> walked in caked with blood. <laughs> arterial spray. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and sweat and egg. Yeah. And Mum, can you do anything about this? <laughs> I just killed a chicken. Not that I actually think the scream is all that good. I love art. Bad good, I love it. Do you not think no. it's, it's I mean, honestly, it's, it's iconic. I mean, it's a it's really, a, that's, that's it's all a it great is. composition. I, I, I would say, I would yeah. say that is all it is. It's iconic, basically. Yeah. They could, and you know, it could be anything. And but if it's given enough publicity, and and it's got a good, it's got a good title. It's got a memorable um, visual. Mm. You good know. story. Yeah. Yeah. So people remember it basically, as opposed to the I don't know, the hay wing or whatever. It's just a <laughs> God, you know, that's a boring painting. Well I know, it is. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, it's God. dark it's yeah. absolutely dull as you know, and it but regardless of what you think of it, and it, uh, I would I totally under, you know, agree that you think yeah, you know, it's all right. But the the we all would know it because of it ticks various boxes of mm. of senses. Yeah, there's summoned something up inside us, which is what he tried to do with his later paintings. Is he, he didn't want to represent anything at all. He wanted to represent what humans felt, sure, yeah, and yeah. what they experienced. I still don't think that anyone's thinking of that when uh, <laughs> they're looking at go. Oh, they, it, you know, if it was, a it's a, it's a. Bald man, or is it meant to be that? Or? It's him. It is, it's him. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, it, but you know, bald bloke on a pier is uh, <laughs> is not is not <laughs> probably wouldn't have uh, gone down as being as <laughs> infamous <laughs> if it had been called that. Maybe not. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Bald bloke but on if a pier, it, 1893. But it, <laughs> <laughs> but it uh, the scream. It's just quite you know emotive, basically, isn't yeah, it? And very. then you look at it and you're like, oh, you know. Uh, but anyway, he, he thinks he's left the oven on. That's why. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The iron. Iron on, 1893. Yeah, exactly. Canvas. Yeah, yeah. Well, the gallery refused to pay the ransom. I can't believe that in our modern society, they let, like, actual art get onto the news. Yeah, I yeah. I would have said, if I was the gallery manager... Um, <laughs> Well, I either I either would have gone, yeah, definitely, yeah. When when can we meet? Because it's too little amount of money. Uh, but perhaps he was thinking of all the other seventy three monks in the cupboard. <laughs> that he had. Actually, do you know what? We're probably not going to miss it, mate. They're everywhere. However, then the painting was found. <laughs> found. It was found. South of Oslo, about 40 miles south of Oslo, in a mm. hotel in Asgardstrand. What, on the wall? <laughs> in a hotel. Someone's bedroom. In a, in a room, I, I imagine. It was found and... On an under- Italian's kitchen table. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. Then the police, the Norway police, got in the assistance. The Norway police. The Norway police. They're known, though. That's what they're known. Police <laughs> laws. Burger, Norwegian, and at your service, sir. They got some assistance from the Getty Museum. And British SO10, which is the Department of Special Art. Needs. <laughs> special, special Art, Special Ops. It's the Specialist Crime Directorate, which right. is colloquially known as SO10. It's not called SO10. Never heard of that. No. No, because you haven't had any arts done. <laughs> yeah, well, I thought it was just policey. They as do. To specific. It's a director. It, it's a director. So it controls lots of departments. So they do like the dog unit and cr- uh, cyber crimes unit and yeah, right. the horse police <laughs> mounted unit. That horse sort of police. Thing. Horse police. The um. They're all controlled by this. Cr- sounds like a director. petrol station. Yeah. So Ted. There's ten yeah. SF stations. Yeah. Yeah. So they got them in and they set up a sting operation. Oh yeah, yeah. There it is. <laughs> so, in January of '96, yep, four men were convicted of the theft or involvement in the theft. Yep, all convicted, including a man named Pel Engu. Now he'd uh, already been convicted of stealing Munch's uh, vampire. In 1988, what's he actually called? The vampire. So, uh, if yeah, I keep if calling it the gonna, vampire. That's going to really annoy me. <laughs> <laughs> Love and pain. Love and pain. And it is just not vampiric in, in not the Not really, no, not in the It's slightest. tender. Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. I don't really even look at her, what she's doing. I'm looking at 
He's, you know, just nestling. Yeah. <laughs> he's clearly in pain and she's comforting him. Yeah. Oh. Yes. The hair's good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah I like that one. I, I, I think they're excellent finger paintings. That style, why is that style completely different? To the he changed door by a bit. That, yeah, he, he, he did some pointillist I mean, stuff, virtually... like Cesaro, and he did some other impressionist stuff. Right. Okay. Because that's Most not as, normal, as, is it? The later it got in his life, the less he. I mean, that is less effort he put into the paintings. Right. Mm. Meaning the scream is later. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. Because that there is no. I mean, I've never seen that, but there is absolutely... I would never in a million years have said, oh, that's obviously a monk there. <laughs> because he's... It's, you know, obviously I only know one painting, but it's the kind of daubings of a <laughs> bloke who dra- can't draw the sky or appear, or a man. Himself. <laughs> Shouting. <laughs> <laughs> or himself. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, a lot of his, uh, yeah, pre-Scream stuff, I really like. Pre-Scream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So then Perling Pel. is A with a pal sign over it. There's a bloke who... Uh, oh, right. All right. He was the keyboardist out of AHA. It was called <laughs> Pel. Pel. Pel Wektar. So he had stolen uh, Love and Pain. Addy. Brackets. Vampire. Close brackets. Yep. Um, in 1988, he was one of the four convicted. Unfortunately, they were all released. Right. The legal reasons being... <laughs> They didn't do it. <laughs> that the British agents who came to assist in recovering the theft yep. had entered Norway under false identities. <laughs> really? Regardless of if they were completely guilty, yeah. they were released. Yeah. And that, I mean, they may not have been guilty, but... They got out. That's rubbish, isn't it? Well, they got the picture back, didn't they? And it was undamaged. Yeah, and that's really... Oh, and I think we've said this before, yeah, that's yeah. all the gallery cares about. Yes, yeah. of course. Not- Hello, my name's Mark Decano and I host the Comedy in a Nutshell podcast in which I talk with those in and around the comedy circuit and most especially the comedians about what comedy means to them. Simon Amstor plus Lena Dunham plus Mr Blobby. I thought that would be a good combo. Every gig you get is somebody else not getting a gig. I've had sometimes I've had people like pull out a notepad and I've been like, oh no, no, thank you. You are a jester and you're here to bring light relief to people's lives. Somebody at the end was like, oh my God, she's dirty. <laughs> I was like, I oh. am. Thank you very much. My boyfriend says he feels like he has to tread very carefully because he was like, I know that everything has the potential to become material. I can now give to people and they definitely in that moment are having a good time. So if you want to know more about what comedy means to the people at its heart, then hear it straight from the horse's mouth. Comedy in a nutshell, wherever you get your podcasts. Welcome to Fringe, baby. (laughs) So... Ten years later, uh, 2004. This year. Hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. Why were you talking? Anyway, yeah. So, 1994, the first yes. theft. That was of the 1893 version of The Scream. And in 2004, ten years later, the 1910 version of The Scream was stolen. Masked men with guns went into the Mook Museum in Oslo and stole yep. that version of The Scream, as well as mm. the Madonna. Hmm. What's the difference between the 90s Scream and the noughties Scream? They're quite similar. <laughs> quite yes. similar. Yeah, they're, no, they're the question pre- was, what's the difference, <laughs> not the similarity? They're quite it's, similar. Yeah, there's subtle differences in the colours. The difference is huge. I mean, they're, they're both fairly scribbly, as was his later work. They are, yeah. Sort of quite linear scribbles. I mean, it's just really the, the varying colours that he used. But I mean, the sky's still orange and the dark bits are dark. Oh, uh, OK. Yeah, there's different colours in there. So at this sorry at this point the 1994 version was back wasn't it? Yes, it was recovered. Yeah, okay. Three months after it was stolen, so quite quickly. I say recovered, found. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it might be the same lot having another go. Um, no. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Spoiler alert: it wasn't. <clears throat> okay. There were some other blokes. Okay. Um, I mean, it was like I say, they walked in in broad daylight. I mean, they were photographed by passers-by outside. Taking the paintings oh, down okay. the street. Oh, to right. Their car. Oh, okay. All right, fine. So it was the, it was then. Quite um, uh, <laughs> bold. Bold. And it was a black Audi A4 or A6, I think, wasn't it? Yes, an Audi A4 or A6. Which was um, quite key in sort of in them trying to find what happened. Um, I think it was a day or two. In fact, it might have been the day. No, it was while it. Yeah, the same day, I think it was. Um, 
one of the sea security people received a call from one of his informants who said, I think that car was one of the cars that I prepared. So right. he, he ma- basically gets cars ready for jobs, for crime jobs, mm. and provides those cars to criminals. But he, he yeah, <laughs> that's his job. We should get into that. <laughs> well, I don't know anything about cars. Pull. Yeah, yeah. Vacuum. <laughs> Hoover. Full Hoover. valet. Yeah, a valet. What do you that's do? Be I, any car, I Hoover getaway cars. <laughs> <laughs> that's a job, is it? Yeah. I, I don't think Not that is a job. One. I think they just buy a or nick a car. No, he, they don't then hand it to gets someone to cars say. Ready. And you put ready. extra. Yeah. Put the, gets, fill the well, it might, they extra might want seat different belts plates, or, or they might want it cut different colours. Because, you, like, if you're if you turn up to a job in a car which yeah, might get is recognised factory. as stolen, yeah, 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 you could get pulled over before you get away from the bank or whatever job it is. Oh, uh, okay, all right, fine. So you've got to have some confusion for the police, you know. Yeah. Those license plates are off a Mini Cooper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, I mean, uh, okay. Why are they on an Audi? <laughs> so this guy, he said, you know, he he provides cars to criminals, but he doesn't like... He oh. won't provide cars for bank jobs or any job where there's violence. And he could see he's that kind of this wrong. car had been used for a violent he, act. He's, they in the, gunmen, he's, in they gunmen. Wrong, he's in the wrong he's game. In the wrong though, game. So he, rang, he informed on them. I think this is a, a car that I prepare. Oh, okay. So and you I prepared it for this guy. But he, he doesn't know who he's preparing them for. No. Well, yeah, he knows who's prepared prepared them for, mm-hmm. but not for what the job. But not what the job is. Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. So he stitched I them up. I specifically like a prepared this for a yeah. non-violent <laughs> art theft. Yeah. Not a shootout. Or exactly. Whatever. When you collect yeah. the car, please remember to tick the non-violent box yes. on the form. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> non-violent. Yes. Good. They got out of the car, they they, they, their hoodies up and masks on, Yes. and they went through the cafeteria, because that's the quickest route in. And it's quite an open plan gallery, so you go in through the caf- cafeteria, and then you can just run to the end of the, of the gallery, and there, right in front of you, are those two paintings, hung, right. on, hung okay. on wire from the ceiling, sure, which sure, they sure. then yeah. just ripped off the wires. Right, oh, okay. And just did and it. ran. I got it! I got it! Uh, the whole thing was over in minutes. Smash and what yeah. do you call it? Smash and dash. Yeah. <laughs> Splash and dash. Smash and grab. Smash and grab. Smash yeah, yeah. Smash yeah. and dash. <laughs> but they believed that the um, the frames would have some kind of tracking devices in them. Yeah. So they smashed off the frames as they were going along, and as they're driving. Oh, and that's what the, the as they're driving away from yeah. the scene, they're throwing bits of frame out yes, of the car right. window. Yes. So that's how they, <laughs> that's how they found. So it. if you ever needed breadcrumbs, right, right, right. Oh, so there you they mean. are. You know. So the police are just racing through the streets looking for bits of wood. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah, Splintered yeah. bits of frame. <laughs> I think they found the car, which had been sprayed with a dry fire extinguisher inside. The whole thing had been. Doused oh, yeah, down yeah. with fire yeah, extinguisher, yeah. so there's no no DNA, no fingerprints. Right. Oh, okay. The gun was linked to another crime because the gun was still in the car. But the, I mean, the guys pretty much disappeared at that point because nobody knows whether they were picked up, whether they had another car waiting, yeah. or what. They just dumped the car there and they were gone. They're gone. Split out of here. So about six months later, April two thousand five, still no evidence of the paintings surfacing. They'd already arrested four people. Just people. But just to any four random people. Oh, yeah. The city of Oslo, the government offered two million kroner. At the time, that would be a little over 300,000 US dollars. As a reward? As a reward. That's a lot. To yeah. locate the paintings, yeah. Oh, that's a lot for a reward. It is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously, yeah, it's a fraction really of the, paint. the paintings, but it's even so. Yeah, if you knew something, you'd be. Oh. Yeah, you'd be itchy, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. While Oslo's government was offering two million Norwegian kron for information yes. leading to the painting's recovery, yes, M and M, makers of fine candy. Oh, oh I thought you were <laughs> <laughs> not the bad. This oh. looks like a job for me. <laughs> oh right, okay. The, M&M, uh, which candy, colour? Candy man. Oh, all of them. All of them. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the peanut one yeah. offered, <laughs> offered a reward as well of two million M and M's. Two million M and M's. Luke what, that's about... If they return the paintings. That's about 20 packets, isn't it? <laughs> 20, is it you reckon there's 2 million in 20 packets? <laughs> the, uh, what's the, what have they got to do with any... Are they Norwegian, M&M's? No. 
They're just getting in on the... Uh, on the right, just getting wagon. associated with something that's really popular. Right. Yeah. They, they were... Yeah. For the return of the painting, they would... While well, the government offered two million kroner, they offered two million M&Ms. Huh. So if you didn't want it for cash, you could do yeah. it for candy. You could sweeten the deal. Oh, wah, wah, wah. Wah. <laughs> Very good. Your reward shall be one million golden pazoozas. And even though the paintings still remained missing, and with rumours abounding that they'd been burned... Oh, yeah. Six men finally went to trial in 2006. and it, Six? It's six, gone up. Yeah, they got two more men. They tried them, either being part of the robbery or planning the robbery. Three of them were convicted and received between four and eight years in prison. And Björn Hoon and Peter Taraldsson, which is two of the three, yep. were ordered to pay 750 million kroner compensation to the city. So that's about $117 million dollars American. Oh, my God. Wow. No... Uh, Evidence of it, but you owe us this, mate. Yeah. This invoice. They were convicted of the theft, so the city demanded a recompense. Yeah. And they were ordered to pay, uh, as I say, 750 million krona. 86 million euro. Wow. Then, in August, a few months later, yep. the police announced that in an operation, that they wouldn't specify what the operation was. <laughs> operation Vacuum Suck! They had recovered both paintings. Ah. The Scream and the Madonna. Okay. We found them. Found them? We're <laughs> stating, <laughs> for the benefit of the public, we are 100% certain they are the originals. <laughs> Just why interesting you, why you would say that. Why would you say that? Yeah. Just so you know, these probably are the originals. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. Thanks for letting us know. We're totally, totally <laughs> sure they're not fake. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's an odd thing to say. Yeah. To feel that you need to know, say yeah. that. But they didn't have to say that yeah. at all. We've, We've recovered got the paintings. End of yeah. press conference. <laughs> <laughs> well done, us. Just, sorry, one more thing. Uh, just so you know, they're definitely the real ones. <laughs> they're definitely the real ones. <laughs> Word goes up, intonation goes up. Ever, and immediately all the press conference go, what? Hang on. <laughs> They were discovered, yes. were they not, in yes, the back were. of a damp, abandoned van. Yes, they were in a damp van. <laughs> why, why was it? What's a damp van? <laughs> well, it, well, it, it had You some, mean a van? It had some dampness <laughs> damaged on the painting. Yeah. <laughs> it's got, yeah it's got in a, a van? No, a damp van. <laughs> so, were, so some small tears on, on the Madonna and some moisture damage on the screen. But okay. they were in better... No, they weren't burned. They were there. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. 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 Yeah, one of the um, guys that identified it was quite familiar with the painting and he remembers that Monk blew out a candle that was lit next to the, the painting at one point and it splashed wax particles across it. And yep. he was quite familiar with, with a particular pattern of wax speckles. Uh -huh. So when he saw it, he looked at it and goes, oh yeah, those are the speckles. Right, right, right. right. So it's, those are definitely the speckles. <laughs> you can't fake speckles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, that well-known idiom. Yeah. Candle wax, car wax, mustache wax. Could be anything. Wow. So the... Uh, that's, a, that's a specialism to add. Yeah. <laughs> so the museum put the slightly damaged paintings on a five-day exhibition and five yep. and a half thousand people came to view them before they were returned to permanent display. Many, is it? No. <laughs> it's not, well, it, they it's not, not like... Uh, I'm trying to think of what other stuff was on display that we've talked about. Uh, Mona Lisa. Yeah, Mona Lisa. <laughs> that was... A, a lot. Loads of people went to see that. Loads yeah. of people. Loads. I don't Loads. remember the figures. We, I'm sure no. we've seen other. What about dead bodies? I don't blame you, though. Bodies are beautiful. <laughs> and we seen, like, oh, Ned yeah. Kelly or something? Or... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wasn't it, like, five or six times the population of the town oh, came yeah, to see yeah. Bonnie yeah, yeah, yeah. Clyde's bodies or something? Five thousand is nothing. It's not That's many. what I'm saying. People, no, it's not many. People it's an afternoon at an average gallery. People weren't <laughs> bothered. <laughs> Um, well, New York art dealer Frank Giraud, Hello. Yes. after the second theft of uh, The Scream. A uh, Scream. Uh, no, the Scream. Uh, the Scream. <laughs> uh, uh, the Scream. <laughs> New York art dealer Frank Giraud stated for the New York Times, it is either impossible to value or it could become the most expensive painting in the world, depending on whether they're actually able to sell it. <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. Arguably, it's worthless. Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. Isn't it? Good, yeah, no, I I, work. I totally agree. It's it's all, all of it's priceless or all of it's worthless. The uh, the the pastel work that sold for 
just shy of $120 million yep. in adjusted millions of dollars. Sure. So according to the current list that I have, the Scream is 26th on the list of most expensive. 26th. Or most money okay. paid yeah, yeah, for yeah. a paint. Oh, wow. It's 26th on the list. Um, let's try and name <laughs> something without doing any research. Okay. I'm going to say... And it's probably a Van Gogh, isn't it? Do you reckon? <laughs> One of them is that. In 2017, yes. Leonardo da Vinci, Salvatore Mundi. Oh, my God. That's, and it's so bad. I can't remember it's, what that looks like. It, 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 yeah, and you're lucky. It's yeah. a, uh, you are all portrait, the luckier for portrait. not knowing. So we guess adjusted dollars? How much? What do you mean? So they were sold at different times. So the, the now value of what they sold at the time would be, for that one, would right. be much. Uh, for the Salvatore Mundi? Yeah. Um, just 200 million. Oh. More? Yeah, More. I reckon. 500. Million. Higher. <laughs> 500? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was 497. Bloody Nora. 497.8 million dollars. How about Moon... What's it called? Moon. Moonlight at Arl. Uh, is that what it's called? The Moon over Arl or something. That's a fangle. It's is that? it's not higher than... Okay. How about a... You'd be surprised. Renoir. Nope. Lilies. Yeah, the the Monet. Yeah, even though there's about 20 of them. <laughs> In the top 20, no. Are, are we going down the wrong alleyway of just thinking of old stuff? No, a lot of them are old. <laughs> You've got a, um, a Gauguin, a Cezanne, mm-hmm. uh, a couple of Rembrandts. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You've got some modern ones in there. You've got uh, you've got your Jackson Pollock. You've got your Lichtenstein, really? Andy Warhol. Mm-hmm. What in that in the in above a hundred? Yeah. Uh, meaning above a hundred million. million yeah. So Lichtenstein and Pollock. Yeah. Bloody hell. Some of them I've never even heard of. Willem de Kooning. Yeah, yeah. That's the second most expensive. Okay. Is it over three hundred yeah, mil? He's massively commercial and really shit. Is he? Uh, <laughs> From what I've, e- from I've what always era? despised de Kooning. I don't know. From what era? Fifties. Uh, um, yeah. Interchange. It's abstract. It's like in the same sort of time. Sorry, how much did that go for? About three hundred million. Wow. Paul Cezanne, three hundred million. Yeah. yeah. Gauguin, two hundred forty. Sure. Jackson Pollock, two twenty. Klimt, two hundred thirteen. Oh, yeah. Rothko, two hundred thirteen. Oh yeah. Rembrandt, two hundred six. Uh, Picasso, two hundred. Rembrandt. Just under 200. Andy Warhol, uh, 195. Amadeo Modigli- Modigliani. Modigliani. Uh, Which one was that? Uh, Nucouche. The names Modigliani, Rothko, they all come up again and again. Rembrandt, Warhol, okay. Modigliani again. Jackson Pollock, de Koenig again. Lichtenstein, Klimt again. Picasso again. I, I have to say, I always thought Pollock wasn't interesting until I actually was in the room with them. And then you kind with of... They, yeah. And then you feel totally different. They're just... Sure, yeah, yeah. Dawson. Are very different when you're actually there. Your fascination with paintings has always amazed me. <sighs> I don't believe I've taken shits that look bad. <laughs> I've been sick on a pavement. That, that <laughs> I've looks, been sick on my own diary. That, that, looks, <laughs> that looks exactly the same. <laughs> and it was, I, did, I sold it for a hundred. I'm not saying it's better, but it looks exactly the same. <laughs> I'd spend money, I'd spend a lot, if I was a billionaire or whatever, I'd spend that amount of money on a um, Canaletto. Really? Yeah, I would, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not what, a, the ice cream? I'm not a fan. <laughs> no, you're not. No, I'm not a fan of Canaletto. No, you're not. Or a Turner, a, 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 uh, uh, yeah. a, a London Turner. Canaletto painted Walton Bridge and... Under Court Bridge, and I am convinced that therefore Canaletto walked down my road <laughs> <laughs> to get in between them. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm convinced he did. So in Pop Car, I mean, it's got a bit, the obvious one is the movie Screen. Uh, the mask, yeah, is of the cone. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When did that franchise start? I can't remember when the first 96. one. Quite early. Ninety six. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. that's not long after. So you're right. The theft, the first theft, made it famous enough to make a horror movie franchise. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's true. <laughs> Possibly. Are they connected? No. <laughs> and that, of, of course, that itself was being parodied. It's called the Ghost Face. It's the name of the mask, not the Scream mask. The film's called Scream. Mm-hmm. The mask is called the Ghost, yeah, the ghost Face. Yeah, it's okay. more ghosty, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And a board game. 
a board game yeah. were The Mystery of the Scream, which was released in Norwegian. Shortly after the theft, I don't know whether it was to raise money or not. I think it was um, released by the museum. Was it? They were actually forced to apologise for the game, which is daft because it's clearly an apology to people who've never seen the game. It's one of those kind of criticisms. Is if you oh, actually right, looked yeah. at the game, you wouldn't have a criticism, yeah. right? Sure, sure. Because it's not teaching people how to steal a painting. Oh, no. The game is: can you catch the people who stole it, or can you evade capture? Yeah, that's the game. So you might remember the poster for the movie Home Alone. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. As soon as that you was, say it. I, yeah, yeah, I completely forgot that. The only That's... other thing I thought of was um, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man when he, when, Marsh, he gets, Marshmallow Man. when he gets shot. And he goes, shot. Uh, <laughs> like that. And he kind of does the same kind of thing. But anyway. Yeah, but he doesn't put his hands on side of his face because no, his arms are too shut. <laughs> He's got lumpy, he scream, lumpy arms. But is it the screen? But you're right. That The one, well, that's the main yeah. image from Home Alone, isn't it? The, uh, the putting on of the aftershave scene. And yes, they use it as the course, poster. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Are you just saying whatever? No, that's, there's a... That's determined as inspiration. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, fine. It is suggested, although possibly not true, that um, the character of The Silence, which is a, a villain in Doctor Who, they're based mm-hmm. on the screen because they have an appearance that... Yeah, it's similar. sort of the scream without a mouth. Yeah, which is interesting. That answers your question about, you know, it looks like he's screaming because his mouth is open. But if you've got a character that doesn't have a mouth, then he doesn't look like they're screaming. No, absolutely. Mm. It, it's the combination of what you're looking at and what the, the title of the painting. As I say, if the title of the painting was called... Man goes for a walk next to the sea. You you wouldn't even think about it, but because it's the, the emotive word and the emotive visuals, you immediately go ah in your head. <laughs> so that's why we're in this mess. <laughs> and bringing it right up to date, yes, it is of course an emoji. It's an emoji. <laughs> <laughs> so if you go, if any listener goes onto their phone device. Put phone in. device, <laughs> as opposed to oh, yeah. whatever that is. Phone device. <laughs> <laughs> so if you send that to someone, it means I've all my arms it means been stole stolen. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for this time. If you want to know more about what we've talked about on this episode, then just Google it or something. You can listen to all of our previous episodes on our website. That's www.truecrimediary.co.uk. Please remember to leave a review on your podcast provider if you can, or you can email us. That's stuff at truecrimediary.co.uk. My thanks to Jed and Rue and to all of you for listening, and we'll see you again on next date in our True Crime Diary. <laughs>